for a clarification on what he meant, because I'm sure he doesn't mean it, but uh, his statements are misleading on Ms. Raisha Khan. My recollection was that the facts are as follows, and we need to be very clear on what the facts are when we speak in this house. There was a committee of privileges. Mr. Singh gave evidence. My recollection, and he will correct me if I'm wrong, there are others here who were in that committee, was that the committee was very sensitive about not describing what exactly happened to Ms. Khan. But it was Mr. Singh who insisted that the word rape ought to be mentioned. I hope he can clarify and confirm that. Otherwise, we can check the record. So when someone stands up here and says, we want to be sensitive, I think we need to look back at what each one did. The word rape, my recollection, was insisted upon by Mr. Singh. So, so much for sensitivity. Second, what was the point in relation to Ms. Khan? It was that in August, Mr. Singh, Ms. Sylvia Lim, and Mr. Manap were told by her that she had lied in Parliament. This is not about rape. This is not about sexual assault. This is about her lying in Parliament. She says Mr. Singh told her to take it to a grave. It was a serious matter, lying in Parliament, serious enough for her to be out of Parliament. September came, October came, she repeated the lie in front of Mr. Singh, and no correction. That was the issue. And thereafter, what happened? Mr. Singh, Ms. Lim, and Mr. Manap sat on a disciplinary panel to decide why Ms. Khan didn't tell the truth and sacked her. But if she was telling the truth that she had told them, which they admit they had been told, well, the public can judge for themselves. But I think we should be very careful about putting out the facts. I believe when the Prime Minister said, and he will speak for himself, about sensitivity, it's about how it affects everyone. And I think if we had applied the same degree of sensitivity, no one would have insisted on recording that Ms. Khan was raped. Leader of the Opposition, Mr. Pritam Singh. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Let me bring this matter and address, let me address uh, this, the Minister of Law's points, which frankly uh, don't really add much to this debate. But what I would say, and this is what I said in my first comment to the Prime Minister was, it is about the selective standard that is applied. It is normal for the PAP to say, look, be sensitive when a matter of this nature comes up. My point was, and in referencing the word rape, my point was, this was how serious the matter was for us as leaders to think about. And I believe I was asked at the COP, why didn't you respond earlier? Why didn't you react earlier? And I said, I should have reacted earlier. But because I had an MP who had made some, such a serious point about of something of a personal nature, I also needed to make sure that she had addressed the matter with her parents. Because in the words of the Prime Minister, you have to look at the circumstances, spouses and the family's conditions. So I think the Minister of Law is missing the point here. It wasn't an insistence because of a lack of sensitivity vis-a-vis -vis the word rape. That wasn't it. It was the circumstances we were in to make a decision in double quick time on what to do going forward. I hope that clarifies the matter. Uh, I'm not sure what the second clarification was from the law minister. If he can repeat it, I will deal with it. 
I'll repeat both. On the first, I think the leader has missed the point. I believe the committee suggested that we don't need to expressly talk about rape. And Mr. Singh insisted on talking about rape. Not only that, he insisted on bringing in her mental condition. I think most observers felt a considerable degree of disquiet at this, that attacking a young lady on the basis of her mental condition and also insisting on putting on record that she had been raped. I think everyone could see why that was done. The second point was this. The serious issue was lying in Parliament and then lying again. And that had nothing to do with her sexual assault. She could have come up and said, I didn't tell the truth. And her seniors in the party could have advised her. That's a matter COP has gone into extensively. And it's a matter, some of it is now the subject of investigations. That's the point I'm making. 